there's an incredible amount of energy that's available to us now and with that comes great change and sometimes that can be scary. Uh, so having these uh, uh, ways of connecting in this way um, provide uh, an incredible opportunity for us to collectively work together to get to a space where uh, we can wind up doing what's truly within our hearts. So uh, it's something too where it's obvious that we're all thirsting for our own growth and consciousness. Um, the energy that's available, uh, you can't deny it. Um, you can try to push it down, you know, day after day, but it, it makes it more and more difficult. It's easier just to open up to it and say, okay, something's going on that's very different right now. And uh, I just should accept uh, playing with it and seeing what's there. And working with other people is the best way to help make you feel like you're not going crazy sometimes of some of these wild things that we wind up experiencing. So, uh, so we're all looking to have our awareness expand and it's happening uh, whether we are fully aware of it or not. <laughs> um, also being able to reconnect in a way to our hearts. Um, one of the most important things that we can do uh, as we play with this new energy that's coming into us all. Um, and that really can only happen together. Okay, so if it's not for all of us uh, kind of working on our individual paths that slowly coalesce into us working together to make it happen, it's not going to wind up working. So it's truly an exciting time. <laughs> um, so we're going to be doing a very important meditation um, full of different activations. Uh, we're going to be learning uh, a specific method to get into the heart. There's hundreds of ways of getting into our heart. Um, I'll be sharing with you one that is very effective. Um, and of course, being that I call this the uh, Earth Grid Meditation, we're going to be connecting to our own consciousness grid. And the reason why I call this a, a, a very important meditation is because uh, it was shown to me um, that this is a natural step um, for us to be able to become more fully active in our own freedom and what we choose to create together as a collected consciousness. Um, so we're going to be going through a few ideas first, uh, just to help us navigate the meditation a little bit more fluently before we go into the meditation. So um, these are ideas and concepts, um, a lot of which I know to be truth for me, but I don't want to impose this as truth for you. Just have an open mind. You can listen to these ideas. Um, and see how it resonates for you. Uh, regarding our own physical bodies, it's important to be aware of just how magnificent our body is. Um, what happens here is our DNA and spirit, great spirit, winds up combining to offer what I call an analog expression of source. Okay, it's its own free will, living thinking uh, version of source energy. Uh, and this is the living, breathing human body. It's uh, just an absolute beautiful and marvelous tool. Um, the body itself is not exactly what we are, and that may seem strange to some people, but um, if you've had the experience of going out of body, you recognize right away after coming out of that, and going back into body, that there's something else going on uh, that's far deeper than what we see in the surface area. Um, the physical body itself, uh, or I should say the body itself is not just physical. It's not just physical matter alone. Um, there's also a mental body and an emotional body. And it's easy to view the mental and emotional as being energy that's perfectly woven within the physical body itself. So when we say the body, I want everyone to be aware, uh, and I'm sure most of you are, that there's more than, of course, just the physical body. We have the mental and the emotional body as well. Um, we also have something called the astral body, which is essentially just a light blueprint for those three bodies that I mentioned prior, the physical, mental, and emotional, to align with. The astral body is just uh, the perfect expression to have physical, emotional, and mental inject itself into. So the astral body is always there um, and the physical, mental, and emotional wind up playing within that. Um, so within that blueprint and housing those three bodies, we have something called the light body. Um, and this is a, a navigational tool. It's basically uh, if the physical, mental, emotional 
is woven together. Um, we basically have a sphere for our purposes. We're going to be using as uh, talking about it like a sphere is 55 feet in circumference. Depending on where people are at, at within their own spiritual development, sometimes it's a little bit smaller. Very rarely have I ever heard from someone that it's larger. I've not encountered that. Um, so we're going to be working with the number 55 in terms of how large this light body is. Um, it deals with geometry. Uh, it deals with the tetrahedron uh, or multiple tetrahedrons. Um, and it's actually related to the shirt. I don't know if you can see it, but the flower of life. Um, it deals with those geometries as well. Uh, everything that we create uh, with physical material, it's important to know, is a representation. It's a simulacrum. Basically, it's just uh, a version of something that is more of the truth. Um, so it may look beautiful, but on some level, it is a flawed, constructed version of the real thing. And the reason why I bring this up is because of the importance of the body itself. It is a pure technology, an analog technology. Um, and we don't really think of it that way, but that's really what it is. And when we do wind up adopting that as an idea for us to play with, it allows us to become something way bigger than just the physical representation of the body itself. So I'm gonna use digital intelligence as something to work with. Um, a lot of people call it artificial intelligence. I like to call it digital because I don't think that anything that exists is artificial. Um, if it exists, there's gotta be a place for it. Um, digital intelligence is a simulacrum. It's a representation of true source intelligence, which this physical body holds onto and uses. So we come from source. Digital intelligence is just a, a constructed copy or attempting to be a constructed copy of that. And being a copy, it's always going to be missing some pieces. It's never going to work nearly as well as source energy. Uh, being that source energy is always whole. It's always complete. There's never a flaw. It can't possibly be flawed. Now, with how we're connecting with each other right now, using this incredible digital technology, um, you know, going live on Facebook and other types of uh, online software that's available for everyone to, to tap into each other. It's truly amazing. It absolutely is. Um, and we can have fun with it, but it's very important to know that it pales in comparison to the full capabilities of the body. And again, not just physical, mental and emotional and housed perfectly within the light body. Uh, it's really the only technology that we need. Um, there's other things, of course, within our experience here that we, you know, we need to have water, we need to have food. On some level, we need to have food. Um, and of course, we need to be able to breathe. The air is so important, and we'll talk more about that in, in a minute or two. Um, but ultimately, the body itself has all the capabilities that we need uh, as a technology, as a piece of, uh, as a, a fully expressed tool. Uh, and we're going to see that within the meditation. Um, so I want to give this phrase uh, a moment. The external world is really just a playground where the body acts as the projector as well as the transcoder of the experience. So we just think of ourselves kind of being within this space, but we don't really recognize that we're actually generating it as well. <laughs> uh, and the same system is also working through codes these holographic codes to get a better understanding of the experience itself, you know, using our five senses. Um, spirit is truly the only force that drives everything. Okay, and that's what's driving the body to act as its projector and transcoder. Uh, without this vital piece of information, it's easy for us to get to a spot where we allow what we create within this external world to become something that we can get too wrapped into. So I'm going to use screens as an example. So of course, we're using screens to communicate now and it's helping us, of course. But after the meditation, you're going to see there's something else entirely available to us. And many of you are probably already aware of this. Um, but if we get too wrapped into what we're experiencing through um, programs like videos or movies or TV or news, things uh, that could be just written or video, 
um, looking at our cell phones, looking at our computers, watching TVs, reading newspapers, if newspapers really even exist anymore, I don't know. Um, but it can pull us deeper and deeper into waves of illusion that wind up holding us under and potentially even flattening us out. Uh, and it's not a scary thing, it's just something that we need to be aware of. There's nothing wrong with uh, using these types of technologies. It's just not letting it overshadow the truth behind the body itself. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of beating this down a lot, huh? <laughs> um, just so you know, if we do wind up turning our backs on spirit, uh, we can become lost in all of that noise that's created, in all the stories that are put out there. So the good news is, about all of this, is we always have a choice. We always have a choice. That can never be taken away from us, even if it feels like we're being pressured to do something that we don't truly want to do. The choice is always available. Um, and right now, the majority of people that are coming together like groups like this are choosing a completely different path. And it, that's of spiritual freedom. And they're seeking. They're seeking spiritually to find out more and more truth for them. Um, and by doing that, by working towards spiritual freedom, recognizing ourselves as spirit, um, that leads to true freedom of the physical experience. We wind up being able to create whatever we want within the physical experience. Um, and we continue to recognize our power and begin to create what we want together. So it's a very exciting and positive message for this time right now. We should truly be all very excited about it. Um, okay, so now within the meditation, what I'm going to ask is that you keep a rhythmic breath. Okay, so it's just naturally breathing in and breathing out. It's preferred to breathe in through your nose, but it's not mandatory. I myself am a mouth breather, so I have to work uh, pretty hard at keeping myself uh, moving in and out uh, breath-wise through my nose. Um, the breath, of course, is uh, crucially important. Um, if you don't breathe for a few minutes, you wind up dying. <laughs> uh, and the way that this winds up working, I can express uh, briefly, the soul itself is something that is compressed spirit. If you take the concept of soul, which is what we're working with now, it's spirit that's been held under tremendous pressure. And it's not always a comfortable feeling, even though we're so used to it. Um, what happens is we need to breathe to remind ourselves uh, that we're allowed to be and exist within this delicate stability of the physical world. Um, breath is spirit. It's not just oxygen. It's called prana or chi. We bring in this incredible energy to fill in our, um, to fill in our bodies, to hold us in a space where we feel okay in this highly compressed uh, experience. Um, within the meditation, we're going to be talking about the prana tube. With the prana tube, you just need to know that it's a central tube that runs up through our seven main chakras. It goes higher and lower. Um, but the idea is it's a thin uh, opening or a, a, a small opening that runs the length of all the chakras. So we're going to be using that as a visual. Um, when we do connect to the grid, I'm going to ask everyone to listen to my words. You're going to be listening to my words the whole time anyway, but um, I want you to share my words as intent for all of humanity once we connect, connect to the grid. Um, the earth grid itself, just so you know, uh, it's a consciousness grid. There's millions of grids around the sphere of the earth. And visually, just so you understand, these are energetic lines. They're energy lines that intersect and cross one another. They're longitude, latitude lines that curve all the way around and also diagonals. And where these uh, lines intersect is where we're going to connect our hearts to. Um, the actual grid itself is etheric, um, but it does have crystalline properties. We're going to be going 33 miles up uh, into the Earth's atmosphere. Um, there's also uh, some connection with 333 miles up near the upper limits of our atmosphere. Um, but for our purposes, we're going to be going 33 miles up. That's exciting. Um, when I left Egypt uh, a few years back, Thoth was the one that showed me how important it is to connect to the consciousness grid. And he showed me how exactly to use it. Um, he showed me though that our third eye was connected to where these lines intersect and our astral bodies just kind of float up as, as that third eye is connected. We're gonna be connecting with our hearts because it's, it's time for that progression now. Um, 
about the grid. Um, just so you know, when we connect to the grid, we're connected co-consciously. Um, we wind up recognizing that this is a space that we've always been part of. Um, the grid has been used over thousands of years to keep humanity at a certain repetitive level, a repetitive life pattern. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with it, but we're waking up now uh, because we're kind of tired of it. <laughs> Uh, we're creating and generating our own type of energy that's awakening us up all to becoming masters. Uh, being called now to be true masters of ourselves so we can shift from just helping ourselves to being able to serve others. It's a completely different way of thinking than we've been taught, uh, I would say for most of us. Um, so we're looking to heal ourselves from past wounds that span not just this life, but past lives energy that's been inherited from our ancestors, from parents, uh, it's the whole spectrum. And we've been doing this for a while. If you believe in reincarnation, we've been doing this for thousands of years as well. But thankfully our energy is different now and we're awakening to uh, our collective wisdom, um, sharing freely and most importantly, relearning the power of our hearts. Um, so with that, I will get into the meditation. Uh, I'm gonna ask everyone to truly commit to it and what I mean by committing to a meditation is allowing your mind to ease whatever comes up uh, with my guidance, uh, the words that I that I am giving you, uh, allow it to be. Don't fight it. If it winds up being something different than what I'm sharing with you, that's okay. Just relax your thoughts. There's no right or wrong. Allow yourself to have fun with the experience. Uh, find joy in the practice. Uh, that's really why we're all here anyway. It's to reconnect to that excitement and joy that we naturally had as kids when we were very young and, and innocent and just playing to have fun. So if uh, you can get yourself in a relaxed position, you can be sitting up. You can go into a lotus position or just crossing your legs naturally. You can also lay down if you want to, but the idea is to keep your spine straight, whether sitting or lying down. And if you are choosing to lie down, please keep your palms open. Allowing your palms to be open keeps you from passing out. It allows you to be more engaged in the meditation and less likely to, to fall asleep. So you can close your eyes and get nice and comfortable. Allow yourself to relax the tension that you may have anywhere uh, on your face. Relax the muscles around your eyes. Allow your shoulders to ease and allow your hips to relax, all while keeping your spine nice and straight. Not strict, relaxed, but straight. Let's start with a deep breath. Inhale, bring up to full capacity, not just in the stomach, bring it up to the chest and hold it for a moment. Exhale out and see, sense and feel a white light moving around you, creating a vortex spinning from left to right and feel that charge energy. Feel it supporting you. Take another deep breath in. All the way up. Feel it up to the chest. You have lots of room. Exhale out. Again, see, sense, and feel white light being breathed out, being caught up by this vortex of energy moving all around you. One last breath, releasing all tension, being completely relaxed. Inhale up and hold. And exhale out, allowing that white light pouring out from your mouth, being caught by this vortex of energy. See this energy now spinning around you as a beautiful sphere of white light that you're encompassed in. Allow yourself within this newly charged energy to place your presence on your skin and feel it as a completely unifying body Every pore of your skin wrapped up tightly. It's a living wrapping that holds you and nurtures you. Feel with your skin that you are always being hugged. You are always being held. And just how comforting that feels. Allow your presence to go down to the skin of your toes. Sense here how perfectly the skin wraps around your toes. Allow yourself to move around all the contours, seeing this skin begin to glow with gold tones. Your presence 
around your skin is like a paintbrush, allowing your skin to enlighten and to glow with a golden shine. Allow your presence to move up the skin from your toes to the arch of your foot, moving past the soles, going up around your ankles, moving up your calf muscles and shins, paying special attention to your knees. And as you do so, feel the pores of the skin in these areas begin to glow a golden light. It begins to purify these spaces as you continue to move up to your thighs, to your hamstrings, moving your presence up the body, seeing your skin glowing with golden tones. Moving up past the hips, become fully aware of a magnetic vortex of presence by the navel. There's a special space here, entryway through the navel. There's 72,000 energetic pathways here. Allow your presence around your skin here to center on the navel. Allow this energy to soak in that golden flow that you've been creating with your presence. Allow it to move in through your navel and to go through all 72,000 energetic pathways throughout your entire body. Feel this golden flow as a river pushing through, having this pressure naturally going through all of these pathways and allow it to ignite your interior every cell within your inside. Allow this energy to go down. Reset gonads into balance, feel that. Moving up now, above the navel, reset the pancreas and the adrenal gland into balance. That clicks into place now. We continue to move up, working around the abdominals, allowing ourselves to move up to our chest, feeling the, the skin wrapped around, holding us together, moving up to the throat. Feel the golden tones begin to shine around your neck, moving up around your jaw, through the mouth, the nose, around the eyes, to the back of the skull, and begin to feel a golden vortex at the top of your head, spinning counterclockwise when you look up at it, opening up your crown chakra. Feel this energy as presence fully opening up to all the information that is above us. Our soul is placed above the crown and all of our ascended masters offer incredible intelligence for us to help us with our own spiritual growth through this opening. Allow your presence to work back down your head, down your neck, so we can pay attention to our shoulders, paying attention to the skin, allowing the pores of the skin to glow a golden hue, moving down the arms, down the bicep and tricep, paying close attention to the elbows and moving down into the palms of the hand through the fingers and feeling a charged trickling sensation moving out through the fingertips. Allow yourselves now with your entire surface of your skin glowing a golden color to become aware of a unified peace. Being aware of peace. Take a deep breath in collectively. Reach up to full capacity. Hold it for a moment and breathe out. With your mind's eye now, allow yourself to look at both your left and your right hand. Hold it in front within your imagination, seeing your 10 fingers clearly and seeing your palms. See the fingerprints of all of your fingers. 
pay careful attention to the surface ridges designed just for you. Recognize that no other human being on the planet has these unique surface surfacings. You are a unique, living, breathing expression of source. Don't believe it. Know it fully within your heart. See the truth in the design of these prints. And know too that your place here is necessary and that you are so needed right now. That's why all of us are here. <sighs> Looking closely at your left arm and your left hand, allow your left hand to go down as your arm grows, pushing through the surface of the earth. This is a simple thing to do. Naturally, just allow yourself to expand your arm growing down through the crust of the earth quickly moving deeper and deeper into the mantle, feeling heat growing as you get closer and closer to the center of our Mother Earth. Allow your left hand to magnetically search out the Earth's core. This is the home of our creation, Mother. See this core as a white liquid crystal packed tightly. See it as a dense sphere. Place your hand on the surface of this liquid crystal sphere and ask permission from our creation mother to be able to push your hand through the surface of her core. Give yourselves a moment to feel her granting you permission and how special that feels to be given that opportunity. Immediately push your left hand through the surface of the core of this liquid crystal and scoop out some of this incredible material. Holding this essence in your left hand, bring your left arm back to its normal size, moving all the way up through the mantle, through the crust, back to the side of your body. Hold it there in your left hand safely now. Look up now at your right hand and allow your right arm to grow up into the earth sky. Moving quickly through the blue sky, allow your right hand to move past the earth's atmosphere, moving into the black cosmic sky. Feel your right hand naturally search out the heat from our sun. Growing hotter and hotter, you feel this heat purifying your right hand and right arm and allow your right hand to brace the surface of the sun. This is also our mother. This is our cosmic mother. Allow your hand along this surface, asking your Cosmic Mother now to have permission to move through this surface into the red plasma. Wait a moment and feel when you have this permission just how loved we are. Move through our Cosmic Mother's surface, allowing your right hand to go into the dense, incredible heat of red plasma. Scoop this cosmic essence and safely bring your right arm back to its normal size with your right hand by your side. Allow now both your right and left hand, your left hand holding the liquid crystal of our creation mother, and your right hand holding the red plasma of our Cosmic Mother. Hold them side by side. See yourself cradling these divine forces with the powerful chakras of your palms. View your left hand closely to see that you're holding millions of living crystals, all dancing together. It's a silver white light emanating holographic vibrations. Say hello to Mother's creation energy. 
Viewing your right hand now closely, see you're holding millions of tiny living flames of red fire. See them dancing together as a river of heat. Say hello to Mother's spirit energy. Play now the role of the alchemist, something we've all been familiar with in past lives. Mix these two divine essences together, creating a whole new mixture, creating right in front of you, pure source energy. See yourself bringing these two together, carefully mixing with love and see how it radiates a glowing pink color now. Feel the energy that you hold within your hands being as strong as the rotational force of an entire spiral galaxy. Allow this new mixture, this source energy, radiating pink to move in through your chest and to coat your heart with this physical embodiment of the Great Spirit. Allow this loving intelligence coating the full surface of your heart. See it as if you're icing a cake. Feel it flowing into all four chambers of your heart, allowing this loving intelligence to move exactly how it needs to. It knows exactly what to do. Allow it to move into every cell of your heart, deep within each nucleus. Expand telomeres. Activate gene elevation Christos. Complete. Feel your thymus reset into balance. This gland is now cosmically in harmony within your physical body and within the cosmos. Make a conscious choice to activate your heart neurons now. Your heart is a thinking organ. Beautiful. Feel your heart alive now in a brand new way. Feel this pink essence of love fully permeating your entire heart, building pressure within the prana tube, moving upwards. Feel this love go up the prana tube like a hydraulic pump, coating it up through the throat. Thyroid reset to balance state. Moving up more towards the face, going up the prana tube, naturally settling and saturating your pineal and pituitary glands. These encompass the third eye. Reset into balance. Scrub free, decalcification complete. Your third eyes are reactivated. Feel your third eyes completely opened, looking up through the crown chakra into the night sky of the cosmic world. Allow yourself consciously to move the eye back, looking forward, straight ahead, through your forehead. And as you do that, feel your third eye blinded by an incredible light, seeing a field of pink. Allow this field of pink to naturally permeate your entire essence. Your heart is now open and acting as central command, followed by the third eye. Feel this new vibration in your heart, commit it to a memory, a frequency memory, and imprint it now. Breathe deeply and feel this connection between your breath and this new vibration. See, sense, and feel it working through and elevating your entire physical body. Feel this heightened vibration as you breathe. The breath is so important right now. This heightened vibration is revealing your mental body and your emotional body. These three bodies are overlapping perfectly and working together. Give yourself a moment to see how they are playing together all the time. With your heart now in charge, you can easily feel out if there's any discordant energy along or within these three bodies, the physical, mental, and emotional. If they're present, you can feel them as a jumbled mess of kinetic wires, energetic lines of disarray. You may also see them too as specific colors that stand out. Like a sculptor now, 
Use the power of your palm chakras to reshape the contours if you see these lines of disarray. Reshape the static into settled wholeness. Bring it back into balance. Now we begin a deep breath. Feel the cooling inflow with this breath and concentrate it in your heart. When you exhale, allow your heart to grow in size. So take a deep breath in and hold it. Feel it energize your heart, concentrating in the center of your heart. Exhale out and like a balloon being inflated, feel your heart grow in size. We're gonna make our hearts 55 feet in circumference. 27 and a half feet on the left side, 27 and a half feet on the right, 27 and a half feet above and below. Every deep breath, have it concentrate in your heart. Exhale out, allowing your heart to grow that much larger. Feel out the size of a 55 foot circumference sphere and continue your breath to quickly allow your heart to grow past the size of your own body allowing it to fill in this large size of 55 feet. Deep breaths in and out, growing the heart. Feel yourself match this circumference, your heart being super large with everything that you are being a tiny point in the center of this sphere. We activate the light body Inhale deep, exhale one last time with force. <sighs> See, sense and feel a vortex of energy spiraling around you. See it moving from right to left within this giant sphere of your light body. Now become aware of another vortex of energy spiraling around you from left to right, the opposite direction. Feel how these two vortexes spin freely within each other, acting as a precise counterbalance. This creates our bodies as weightless. Allow yourself to enjoy this feeling in these counter-rotating vortices. We are all now light workers, positively charged with the mantle of service to others, working directly and on behalf of the love in your heart. Welcome now, brothers and sisters, and taste this delicious air. Allow yourselves to fly up with me now together as a complete and balanced light body, reawakening to our collective consciousness. We can see each other flying in the blue sky together. Have fun now. Let your inner child play with your new powers. We are traveling now 33 miles into the Earth's atmosphere. We can already sense the presence of humanity's consciousness grid, a beautifully constructed geometric web of white energy beams. See and sense them overlapping each other as latitude, longitude, and diagonal lines, intersecting as they curve around the entire Earth, creating an ethereal sphere of white light that glows a faint blue. As you fly, Feel your heart naturally searching out a single point where these beams cross over each other. Your heart's electromagnetic frequencies naturally align with one specific point. Go there now. You know this connection. You know it intimately. Feeling your spot. Click your heart into this position. Welcome back home and breathe in this new energy with your heart perfectly connected and supported within the human consciousness grid. Imprint this memory and program your life body to always remember it. Feel the unconditional love and support here and feel the grid holding you. Like a baby, it cradles you and comforts you, assures you of your power and connection to the all. Place your presence now on your heart fully connected to the grid. Breathe in your awareness to the hearts of all human beings on earth now. Every human being is connected to this, whether they are aware of it or not. We now, together as a group, are fully aware. 
Feel, sense, and see how they are all connected to the grid and feel yourself now as our self. This is true spiritual unity. This is the natural progression that we're all working towards. All of our hearts connected to the grid, we now share wisdom. Let's all make a conscious choice now to share collectively with all of humanity the following intents. For all of humanity now to heal ourselves as individual manifested consciousness, to allow ourselves to forgive ourselves, to allow ourselves full freedom of expression, to be allowed to experience joy and excitement and to know that we are fully deserving of it. Feel this intent vibrating out from our hearts and reverberating through all the white energy lines of the consciousness grid. Continuing with intent to allow ourselves to connect with our inner child, to look deeply into the eyes of our young self and to tell him and her that you are beautiful and perfect. Your place is here with all of us. Let your inner child now touch your own heart and feel charged with the playful excitement of discovery and the joy of freely creating. Send this now to all of humanity. Continuing for all of humanity to have every cell within them elevated with the Christos, the Christ consciousness, and to allow ourselves to be placed back into balance and harmony, to have the telomeres of our DNA within the nucleus to be extended, to give us the opportunity to have our true spiritual maturity reached and for the expression of our genome to be more fully complete, to expand naturally into our new powers of being, new powers of creation, new powers of sharing, and new powers of receiving. For humanity to shift to forgiving all we viewed as hurting us or to have held us back, release them, and most importantly by doing so, releasing ourselves from that stagnant energy. It no longer serves us. For humanity to recognize that a difference in ideas creates a fuller understanding of the truth, to enable ourselves to not only accept different ideas and concepts, but to celebrate them by opening ourselves up to all possibilities. To know the truth that world peace is not only an idea, but our destiny, and to fuel this path with unconditional love, understanding, gratitude, respect, and freely sharing with each other. To know that the only way to do it is together, exercising balance, calmness, and eternal harmony. For humanity to fully reconnect to spirit and to relearn that all is possible. The all or great spirit is in fact all possibility. And within this, we play a central part. Send that reverberating throughout the consciousness grid and allow our own personal intents to vibrate through those white light beams and bring your presence back down to your physical, emotional, and mental body where you are housed right now in the privacy of your own space. When the moment is right for you, you can open your eyes and know that you can always do this on your own at any time. The imprints were done and the expansions were complete. Uh, thank you all for uh, being part of this and allowing us uh, to connect in this way and to uh, give yourself the opportunity to continue this practice on your own. I'm going to quickly share a uh, mindfulstudio.com if anyone's interested in, in working with me for individual sessions. And uh, you can find me on uh, YouTube and uh, as well as on Spotify uh, uh, as a mindful studio with Dave Tall. So with that, I'll say thanks again.